Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. When we last left off, we had uh, just entered uh, Palace 6. We cleared out the first two rooms just to get some point bags, then I retreated out to refill my life and magic on that uh, red statue out there. 50-50% uh, drop of being uh, red jaw or uh, red iron knuckle. So, uh, just farmed out there so I have uh, max uh, health and max magic. I'll use some of my magic here to defeat these whiz robes just to show them off. And the reflect spell also uh, blocks that guy's uh, mace. So, those uh, wizards usually aren't worth fighting. They only give 100 experience. And uh, the magic that you waste on defeating them, uh, like I said, can be better used for something else. So, here's the, uh, the, uh, that endless hole that one of the villagers in Nuka Sudo talked about. Uh, it basically just repeats itself. There'll be uh, four different screens, including the starting one. The first screen and the third one are going to uh, be point bags. The second screen there, that's the one we're going to eventually want to go on to. Third screen here, we get another point bag. And then uh, the fourth screen is basically the start screen again. So, boink. And we want to fall down on the right this time because we can end up on this platform here and 50-50 chance of being a pot or a red iron knuckle. So we can refill our magic. That's why I didn't feel bad about necessarily uh, using that reflect spell in the first star in that one area where the wizard rose were. Yeah, it's not usually uh, good to kill those wizard rose because like the magic, uh, there's usually only like two per room, even though it looks like there's probably more because they just keep uh, reappearing and disappearing but it's very similar to the dragons uh those dragon heads it just m looks like there's more than there are so yeah it's not effective to use them for experience so i want to use this guy to uh kill him to gain some experience and to clear a path to another uh experience uh bag we use our jump spell to get up here we could eventually make this jump uh without but there's a jump over here to the left uh that uh, it's kind of tricky without the jump spell, so I might as well use it to save some time. So here's that jump. We can make it without the jump spell, but uh, like I said, it's pretty pretty tough. You have to kind of almost be on the very edge of the ledge. Now this mower that's kind of flying across the eye that drops fire, he's basically here because if you let him live long enough, eventually he's going to drop fire. And between um, the statues there, uh, there's a hole. I forget if it's the second or the third group there. Uh, we'll find it when we make a U-turn around here. But uh, there's a hole, and if you have that MOA drop fire on the ground, eventually uh, the fire will fall into where the hole is, and you'll see it'll just pass right through the floor. So it's your indication that, hey, there's uh, a false floor. Here we got the a refight with the boss of level 3. He's much easier this time with attack level 8. Two hits to dismount him, two uh, hits on him when he's dismounted, and that takes him out. And we'll fight him again uh, later on in the dungeon. So, uh, him twice, and then the final boss of the dungeon, uh, the only ones who drop keys. Those are the only keys we'll get in here. That's why it's important that we picked up that magical key in Nuka Suto. So, let's fall down this hole here. And, and this will eventually take us back to that area where the. Uh, the, we fought that uh, mace throwing guy uh, where we used the jump spell to get by. So there's going to be a potential pot over here. Uh, and we'll get a magic level up here. So we'll use our life to fill our life up. And now let's uh, max out our magic. So now we've maxed out all our stats. Uh, our next will be 9,000 for either magic, life, or attack. And uh, that will give us a one up. So. We'll get a free one-up for beating this palace. So, gotta watch these bubbles. Uh, the most annoying thing about the bubbles is they drain your magic when they hit you. See, we lost about maybe about four points of magic there from that hit. Uh, and like I said, this ma this uh, uh, area, this palace is very magic intensive. So, gotta use a lot of magic to get through it. So, oh, we got a lucky pot drop there. Luckily, there's a few places where you can farm uh, blue uh, blue pots, and I'll point them out when we get to them. So, uh, if you do have problems getting hit with a bunch of bubbles or just have bad magic management, uh, you'll waste some time, but you will be able to get the magic that you need. 
So now we're going to head back to that endless hole. Uh, but this time we're going to go on to the right when we fall onto the second screen. If we go to the right on the first or the third screen, on the first screen, there's just another blue iron knuckle. Uh, on the third screen, it's just another dead end. Uh, the point bangs on both of those screens are on the left. So, fall to the right here, stay on the right, hold right, and we'll be able to fall onto this uh, ledge. And this is our way forward. Another blue iron knuckle, don't really have to worry about experience here. So this is one of the rooms where we can uh, farm blue pots. Um, basically, just uh, be careful. Uh, almost fell in the hole there. So, uh, you can uh, defeat the dragon heads. Uh, they're kind of small enemies. And then these guys. Uh, but uh, if you turn around, see the dragon heads will respawn. So, you kill two, uh, go into the right, turn around, and they'll respawn. Kill two, go into the left. And then eventually, like, you'll, get, you'll meet your 8th enemy, and there's a 7 8th chance of the small enemy dropping a blue pot, which refills one of your uh, entire bars of magic up there. So, you can refill there, because you're going to need to have magic to cross this room. There's no way across this room other than the fairy spell, and it's almost like a, a shooting game here, where you're flying and you're trying to avoid obstacles. Obstacles won't kill you, but they'll steal your magic that... Uh, Thing. Also, one thing, be it's uh, the the hitbox of the lava, the marinara sauce. It's uh, kind of deceptive. Uh, don't want to go too too low to the uh, thing because the uh, the like I said, the hitbox is kind of deceptive. It actually like appears a little higher than what the sprite looks like. So just stay close to the top, dodge from up there. I'm going down this way. It's useless to go down this way, but I'm just going to get the point bag show it off so like I said points though pretty useless here because you're never gonna uh, get 9,000 points uh, to get you know maybe two level ups in this level so it's just unless you like really just sit here and grind but that's you know ineffective and if you're getting all the one-ups that uh, I pointed out you should be okay what? ah I hate it when the whiz robes appear right on top of you over to the right, uh, just a big room, uh, and that's a room that you'll end up in if you miss the, uh, the passage to the boss. This is another guy you can farm blue magic points on, because we're going to need the fairy spell in a little bit. You can just exit in and out of that room, that Moo will always, uh, respawn. So, you can just defeat Ada him and hopefully get a blue draw. We got, uh, uh, the blue, uh, horse rider and iron knuckle here take him out just as we did in palace 3 and palace uh, 6 earlier we get another key I'm just trying to make up my uh, look at my magic here we're gonna need the jump spell and the fire spell uh, if we want to get the uh, the fifth one-up doll over here and this is kind of a really annoying uh, thing coming up here so Let's go get, uh, I'll need one more, uh, one blue jar. So let's just do that real quick farm in here. I'll show you how to do it. Just come out here, stab the guy, leave, turn around, and he'll be back. And like I said, after uh, every eight uh, ones you defeat, you'll most likely, like I said, seven, eight chance of getting a, uh, or every six that you defeat, you'll get a uh, seven, eight chance of getting a blue jar, so... Let's see, fairy jump is 48, that's three total. And uh, we need fire, so we need four jars total. So let's just uh, farm this guy here one uh, few more times. We want fire because uh, on the way toward the, uh, the one-up doll, uh, there's gonna be some two fast-moving bubbles. And it's gonna be a really tight corridor, similar to the one that we're in right now. And it's very hard to hit them. So if we kind of stay off to the side and just slowly creep our way over, we'll be able to get them stunned on the side where they're going up and down and they're waiting to fully materialize on the screen. 
And when they're in that state, we can hit them with the fire magic. So we can take them out uh, from uh, range. And we want to do that because we don't want to get hit, not because we're worried about the life that they'll take from us, but their magic that they'll take from us. So, And because there's two of the bubbles, uh, you, uh, it's really tough to uh, kind of trap them because you might be uh, trapping one, stabbing it, and then the other one will come hit you and knock you away from hitting it. So I'm just going to use a jump and fire spell here. And we want to make sure that before we head down, we have enough magic to uh, cast the fairy spell. So in our case, it's 40 units, which is two and a half of the thing. So we're going to slowly creep our way over here. Nice and slow, throw fireballs out. We're going to get this uh, iron uh, knuckle. We want to get him over here as far as you can. Eventually, he's going to turn around. We don't want to go fight him too aggressively because we don't want those bubbles to spawn. So we just attack him, let him come to us. Take him out, and then we're just going to slowly creep, and eventually we're going to see the bubble appear. And we just want to keep him on the screen where he's just kind of going up and down, because we don't want him having free reign over uh, the whole uh, area. So we get him with the fire spell there, we trap him, and we take him out. Now we have one more to go, very similar, we hit him, and uh, we just got lucky there. We have enough magic to cast the fairy, and we get... Our fifth one-up doll. Link looks so happy when he picks up. Well, Bub looks so happy when he picks up the thing. Now, we're going to have to select Fairy here. Because uh, we're going to fall down this hole. As we fall down the hole, when we get on the screen, you're going to have to instantly press Select to fly over. If you fall down that hole, uh, you'll end up in a big, long room. Uh, there's a pot, a potential pot on the right. Uh, it's one of those uh, statues. Uh, uh, red iron knuckle statue. So... 50-50 shot of getting a red jaw. Uh, but then the other room is just filled with a whole bunch of bubbles. And then you make your way across that room. And uh, you'll get to that elevator. So here we have the final uh, crystal boss, uh, Barbara. He's a big dragon. He pops out, out of one of these uh, three holes randomly. Uh, however, the, he's always going to start off appearing from the rightmost hole. So you can always just position yourself there. You just want to stay away from him. Uh, just... Taking nice and slow. I just stay away. I just stay on this uh, block here. And if he appears uh, on the hole that I'm stabbing, I'll get a few hits in on him. If he appears on the far left hole, he's, sa he's safe. Uh, don't have to worry about anything. He can't hit me with his fire. Uh, and if he appears on the middle hole, then I'll just jump over to the uh, area on the right. So it's you can um, be more aggressive. Uh, if you're really aggressive, you can take him out on the first... Uh, time he pops up uh you just gotta basically stand there and uh hit him a whole bunch of times and not worry about getting hit but i'm always worried about the knockback of getting hit that uh he's gonna push me back into the marinara sauce so i just take my time finish him off and now i'm gonna finish off placing the crystals in the statues i'll get my one up for the nine thousand points and uh it's time to head to the Great Palace. Well, not really. Remember that old man uh, back in uh, Kasuto? Once we have all the magic containers, we can uh, go over to him and get the final spell, Thunder, which you need to defeat the penultimate boss uh, of the game. So I just like to uh, use the fairy spell here because uh, I'm going to get a free magic refill when I uh, select the magic will go up for the final uh, level there. And hey, now that we have the cross... These uh, mowers are visible. So these, these are the things that were hitting us. Kasuto. Strange. It is deserted. So. Well. Deserted of people. Uh, unless you count this uh, wise man here. So now that we have uh, full magic. He's going to give us our thunder spell. It's pretty much. Uh, I can give you most powerful magic. It pretty much one shots most enemies. Uh, it's basically just a, uh, like a one-shot uh, boom that uh, basically just destroys all enemies. However, the problem is it's really, really expensive. Uh, even at magic level 8 here, it's going to cost four entire bars of magic. So we can only cast it twice before we have to refill our magic. Uh, in most instances, it's much easier just to, you know, uh, fight something, you know, 
mono e mono with your sword and then use the life spell in your shield and life to heal life up or uh you know uh if there's a whole lot of enemies you can use the spell spell to turn them into uh bots which we'll be doing a lot uh, on our way toward the great uh uh palace the spell spell that sounds weird to say uh gets a lot of usage on the way to the great palace so we're just uh, coming in here. One of these places has a, uh, one of the buildings that looks like this has a hidden clue in it. Uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of a clue about the, the, the uh, magical key. We already got the magical key, but yeah, it almost be basically like suicide to try to get this clue before you get the magical key. Uh, or get the cross to see all these enemies because... Uh, like I say, they're taking a lot of damage off of me, even just even though I can see them. So yeah, this last one, if we uh, little graffiti I guess on the wall, magic key reads treasure of Kasuto. So I guess that's your clue that there's a magic key in Kasuto. So should have used shield spell earlier. I probably would have saved on life, but that's the only clue. All these other buildings are all empty, so there's no point in going into them. I like how the buildings are all kind of ruined a little bit, like as if those mowers destroyed them. So, neat, nice little touch. We'll uh, get our fairy spell out here just for these. We've got these two bridges here we gotta cross, and I'm always scared that someone's gonna knock me into the water. And rats, even though rats are apparently really good swimmers, uh, Bub can't swim in this game, so. But, ooh, we got a lucky fairy there. And let's go over here. So, boink, boink, boink. Yeah. Oop. Oh, see, here's where the fairy comes in handy. Doink! Woohoo! Hit the fairy spell before we fall in the water, and we can just fly away. Woohoo! There is going to be a pot that we can refill all our magic in. So, uh, but let's show off the uh, encounters here in the graveyard. We didn't want to do this earlier because we wouldn't be able to see these enemies. Uh, so if we go into the hard mode, we got uh, blue lizards on the left and the right, and these mowers that fly around, and we're taking a lot of damage. Oof. And the weak enemy will just be, we'll show it off. Oop. We ended up getting in the wrong one, so. Uh, the weak enemy is just a whole bunch of uh, mowers, uh, those eyes. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm basically going to summon uh, monsters, and then if they uh, if, uh, they appear, I'm going to go down uh, onto the road and get into an encounter with a monster. If a fairy appears, though, I would just, you know, go grab the fairy. So, let's see if we can get into that weak encounter there. Okay, so this is just, like I said, a bunch of moas. Uh, this is where we can potentially use the spell spell to uh, turn all these guys into bots. Probably would have been smarter to do that, so... Spell doesn't cost a lot. Uh, it's relatively cheap. So, yeah, let's do that. Because that, uh, that jaw will refill all our spell up, so. We do want to uh, summon an encounter coming up because uh, we have a random encounter coming up here. Oh, we got really lucky. We got a fairy. This road tile that I touched right now is uh, a battle zone, so. And then over here in this little uh, nook, we have a red jar, so now we have full life, full magic, and we'll be ready to make our assault onto the Great Palace next time. Take care. Bye.